वट इज वेलेंसी एन केमिस्ट्री वेल द कम्बाइनिंग कैपेसिटी ऑफ एन एलिमेंट इज कॉल्ड इट्स वेलेंसी फॉर एग्जाम्पल कंसिडर हाइड्रोजन एटम एंड ऑक्सीजन एटम वी नो दैट देर इज ओनली वन इलेक्ट्रॉन प्रेजेंट एंड द आउटर मोस्ट शेल ऑफ हाइड्रोजन एटम दिस हाइड्रोजन एटम नीड्स वन मोर इलेक्ट्रॉन टू गेन स्टेबिलिटी After gaining one more electron the duplet rule of hydrogen atom is completed so we say that the valency of hydrogen atom is 1 on the other hand we can see that there are six electrons present in the outermost shell of oxygen atom this oxygen atom needs two more electron to gain stability after gaining two electrons the octet rule of this oxygen atom is completed So we say that the valency of this oxygen atom is 2. Thirdly, consider sodium atom and magnesium atom. Remember that I only draw the last two shells of sodium and magnesium. In case of sodium atom, we can see that there is only one electron present in the outermost shell of sodium atom. Sodium will lose this one electron to gain stability. In the second last shell of sodium atom there are eight electrons present so its octet rule is completed so we say that the valency of sodium atom is 1 on the other hand there are two electrons present in the outermost shell of magnesium atom now magnesium atom will lose these two electrons to gain stability in the second last shell of magnesium atom there are eight electrons present so its octet rule is completed hence we say that the valency of magnesium atom is 2 now let me teach you one bonus point about transition metals consider zinc atom copper atom and iron atom remember that these atoms have variable valency i mean zinc can lose two electrons or three electrons so the valency of zinc is either 2 or 3 Similarly copper can lose either two electrons or three electrons so the valency of copper is also either 2 or 3 similarly iron can lose either two electrons or three electrons so the valency of iron is either 2 or 3 this noted down these important points finally let me teach you the most easy trick to find valency of any element in the periodic table We know that group 1, group 2 and group 3 elements are metals. So the valency of group 1 element is 1, the valency of group 2 elements is 2 and the valency of group 3 elements is 3. Therefore remember that the valency of metals is their respective group number. For example, the valency of sodium is 1 because it is present in the first group. The valency of calcium is 2. because it is present in the second group on the other hand we know that group 4 group 5 group 6 group 7 and group 8 elements are non metals now to find the valency of non metals i subtract group number from 8 for example 8 minus 8 is equal to 0 so the valency of group 8 elements is 0 secondly 8 minus 7 is equal to 1 the valency of group 7 elements is 1 thirdly 8 minus 6 is equal to 2 the valency of group 6 elements is 1 fourthly 8 minus 5 is equal to 3 the valency of group 5 elements is 3 fifthly 8 minus 4 is equal to 4 the valency of group 4 elements is 4 Thus, by this way, we can easily calculate the valency of any element in the periodic table. Here is one last bonus tip for you. Remember that valency is totally different from oxidation state or oxidation number. For example, the valency of carbon is four, while the oxidation number of carbon may be positive four and positive two in different compounds. So note it down this important point